All right, shoot news and reviews, man. We back with another one. We got P, man. P on trial, man. P on trial. Yeah, P is responding to the snitching allegations that were brought to the surface by 1090 Jake. So yeah, anybody who is saying that he was a rat, he's saying uncross your nuts. Uh, he never <laughs> intended to be a street dude. Never wanted to be that. And he got a statement. I want to share it with y'all. So uh, before we get into that, just go ahead and hit the like button. <laughs> Just uh, get it out the way. See, the good thing about the subscription is shit free. <laughs> For real. You can't be mad at that. So just to give some context, anybody that's not up to speed, uh, your boy Pierre Thomas, also known as P, he's uh, responding to the allegations, uh, telling people to stop glorifying dumb shit. This is the statement. Academics shared it from his uh, social media he said i see that 300 million got all them hating ass niggas mad back home anybody know me know my character our culture so fucked up it's sad y'all live in this imaginary street dream i'm changing lives and changing my family curse i don't got no love for no nigga that try to kill me or mine i ain't into the streets never wanted to be i played the hand i was dealt and made something out of it Y'all bum ass niggas should do the same. Stop glorifying dumb shit. Rest in peace to my dog Q, an innocent man with five kids who lost his life to a bum ass nigga who didn't value his own. I'm a goat. Don't ever confuse me with a rat. Now take that fraudulent ass report and stick it up y'all ass. I love my freedom, so stop playing with it. Mm. How did that uh, strike you, Bob? hey man he's he's saying everything valid man you can't <clears throat> don't hold everybody to these street rules that only apply to you know people who make politics for their little community you can't just make it universal you know i don't have a problem with pda he said he wasn't no street dude he just you know yeah he he, his homie so like he said he's not gonna uphold no street code for somebody that's trying to kill him i mean whatever man you know he gotta live with what he did i don't think anybody's yeah. holding that against him as we made the example before it's not like he snitched on somebody you robbed the bank with this was a guy that killed his homeboy and had, had chased his ass into a mall you know with a gun <laughs> and everything like that so he yeah. did the hell he saw fit to do uncross your nuts is what p got to say but that yeah, raises another question <laughs> It raises another question if he's saying yeah. that the uh the fraudulent report you know i don't know if that's true um because is that all you saying is fraudulent about it that's the only thing that i think he wavered a little bit it's like you might as well stand on it like what's fraudulent about the report and if it was a fraudulent report shared what part of that was fraudulent like were you or were you not actively working with the homicide investigation you know what i'm saying if if all the other stuff was valid why even bring up the one uh invalid document it seems like maybe he's trying to question the credibility of 1090 jake did you get that from it or is that just me yeah i think because you know uh 1090 jake verified the paperwork you know he stamped it so they he's saying it's fraudulent yeah, man. I mean, he he probably got a little image he's trying to uphold. So it's a balance between the two. Yeah, he's trying he, to say forget the streets, but also I ain't finna just let y'all mud on my name. Like you know what I mean? Like I ain't nothing now. Yeah, I ain't yeah. with the street code. I told, but don't make me look like a a dude who around here setting up my friends and and being a backstabber. He's saying, you know, he looking out for his homie. Well, he said you know? the incident report was um fraudulent and. I don't know. It has been some fake paperwork going on, on lately. So maybe maybe the incident report was false. I, I would want like a Mickey Truth or uh, a 1090 J to answer for that uh, just to make sure that everything is relevant. Because I know even with that Rollo case, uh, it looks like Mickey Truth had uncovered that one of the uh, FBI reports was fake. And DJ Academics uh, shared it. And, she, you know, whack pressed him about that. And he seem a little shaky on it so you know 
we got to watch this uh paperwork these paperwork parties people doing anything just to put the paperwork on people yeah to try and to put some mud on your name yeah they'll do they'll do, the, they'll they'll do, do that the you know what I'm saying it could yeah. be the 300 million that got these niggas upset like that i think it do man because i think if he would have never touched that nobody would be talking about peace so it's like why is this why all coming out now out. you know what I'm saying right. if, if this happened so long ago why is this like who uncovered this you know what i'm saying right that, that thing be shaking me up too because it's like it's people trying to get clout off maybe you know it might be somebody close to them putting this out i don't know you know what i'm saying Who we knows, seen that happen with rollo it was a homeboy that was putting out the stuff start making some money and you're gonna see it everything gonna come out everything yeah. gonna come out about you. um it seemed like whack and 1090 jake got into it 